Hey guys, this is Tobias. Um, quick, short video today. I just wanted to share something with you that I think would be incredibly helpful for you because it was helpful to me and I like to share these kinds of things. So a little backstory here. Um, some time ago, many moons ago, um, I got a free kit um, from Kitbash 3D when they were kind of doing more of that. Um, so this one I had was the uh, Kitbash Mini Post Apocalypse apocalyptic uh, kit and at the time I had gone through and I had created uh, redshift materials for it so I converted everything to redshift and I made it uh, into just sort of like a master uh, file that I would have the assets in so I like broke all the individual buildings out and uh, zeroed the world transform um, just so I could easily access it now this was you know quite a while ago on a different computer and all that kind of stuff and uh, I, today I open up the file uh, just to you know take a look at it and maybe pull something out uh, to play around with and I got this message here which I'm sure many of you have come across many times and it basically boils down to uh, the fact that Houdini cannot resolve uh, paths right so using incomplete asset definition so it can't resolve some information that exists on these notes here so in my redshift materials all of these different materials there's something wrong with all that so that's the first uh, tier that rolls down your face so you go into your, your network and you start to investigate and you and you look and you don't see any materials and then you go up to your redshift materials and you look at all the materials that you worked so hard on before and then you notice that by clicking on one of them that the file path is indeed incorrect. In my case, it's a drive letter that no longer exists on my network. Uh, so then your option is to go through these tabs and you know adjust whatever you used um, for however many nodes you use. And as you can see here, <laughs> this would take a very long time and even more tears would start rolling down my face. Um, so what Houdini does not have as of today, is an easy find and replace function or tool um, that will help you with this problem. Um, so you can address this with Python, um, which I'm going to show you. And fair warning, I know enough Python to be dangerous, so I did get some help on this from a coworker. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to walk you through this script. So. Uh, you could write this yourself in a Python source editor. What I recommend doing uh, as you go forward is save this script somewhere and in your project, um, if you've ever done the uh, set project or new project, you know that there is this scripts folder. So save this Python script in your scripts folder so that it follows the project. Um, as you bundle it and move it around different computers so that you're not uh, trying to hunt this down later on. But anyway, let's get on with it here. So first thing we need to do is import the uh, Houdini environment, Python environment, which was what this is here. Then we're gonna create a function, which is what this definition is. And you can call this whatever you want. This, you know, in this case, this maybe rename. <laughs> um, and then what it does is it looks through the node it doesn't care what the node is. So in this case, this is a redshift principled uh, shader. I mean, this could be uh, a principled shader in Solaris. Um, it could be a Material X, uh, you know, something or other in uh, Karma, whatever it is that you're using, it doesn't matter. Uh, this is agnostic to whatever the node is. And it's just gonna start looking at uh, the P raw value, right? So parameter raw value of whatever it is. So it's gonna find these strings and store it, right? So it stores it in this variable for each field that it comes across, right? And then it's gonna say, it's gonna allow you to do a search. So in my case, I just changed this to this H drive. So this is what's wrong in my case, right here, this H. And then uh, I need that to be F. Right, so I, just, I put that value here, um, right there where it says F, and then attach the rest of it of what that old value was. So whatever that was there. And then I'm gonna create a uh, root 
attribute or parameter or variable to be correct, a variable that just is a string value that says where to look for these nodes. So where do these nodes live? All of these, you know, sadness inducing nodes um, live in this path right here. So obj, in my case, it's kb underscore mini underscore post underscore epoch, and then there's this rs underscore materials node. So that's where they all live, and that's what you're going to put here. And this will probably be different in your case. And then it's going to run through a loop and look at all of those nodes and wherever it finds those strings, it's going to change that drive letter. And all this is, is a find and replace um, function. So it's, it's a quick uh, file relinking uh, solution. And like I said, this doesn't care what type of node it is. So this could be a file cache, a whole bunch of file caches. I mean, whatever it is that you're doing at Houdini and then something went awry with your your string. So watch this. If you just hit apply, it goes through and it does its thing and watch over here. Bink, it's done. And that's true for all of the buildings in this kit in my case. So that literally just saved me, I don't know how much time, but uh, I had to share that with you guys. Um, so I'll leave this here uh, so you can pause the video and you can write your own script like that and save it out. But uh, I hope that comes in helpful for you guys, and I hope you guys have a nice holidays. And I look forward to uh, making some more content for you soon. And uh, take care for now. All right.